Afternoon and for that we're going to turn back to meteorologist Cedric Haynes in the Storm Alert Center and Cedric we're talking about what a difference a day makes you know with sunshine out there and looking and feeling better than it did yesterday. Uh, yes, it's definitely feeling better than it did yesterday for sure Latrice and as slowly but surely we're getting more and more of that sunshine as well making things look a little better out there but still we're below average for this time of the year 60 degrees though so we're officially at the big six zone here the first time since uh, earlier what well, was it, Friday? I think it was. So yeah, we've been in the 50s and 40s the past couple of days, but we're now slowly beginning to increase these temperatures. Not only is it 60 in Chattanooga, but we've got 60 now in Dalton, 55 in Dayton and Cleveland, 53 Blue Ridge, 56 Murphy, 56 in Athens and 57 degrees in Scottsboro and Fort Payne. So slowly but surely we will continue to warm up as we go throughout the day. Also expecting more of that sunshine to begin to break out. We're looking at these temperatures getting into the mid to upper 60s as we go throughout this afternoon. So definitely a warmer day expected across the area. And then as we go into the evening, notice even by 9 p.m., will likely still be in the 50s, at least here in Chattanooga. So it's not going to be dropping off fast as we go throughout the overnight hours, but it still will be a chilly night setting up for us again. So 66 degrees, I expected high temperature in Cleveland today. Same number in Dayton. We'll go with about 69 in Chattanooga, 67 in Dalton, 65 degrees in Fort Payne and 66 Scottsboro, about 60 in Altamont and 62 degrees expected today in Murphy. Now tonight, remember, as I mentioned, we'll have mostly clear skies. The winds will turn fairly light, so we are expecting those temperatures to drop off once the sun sets and eventually we'll head down even some 30s across the eastern half of the area from Athens over towards Murphy and Blue Ridge. We'll be in the lower 40s here from Dalton, Cleveland up towards Dayton and then temperatures again around 40 to 45 degrees from Chattanooga and points west. But that really starts to speed up our warm up as we go into your Wednesday. So your hump day Definitely still looking like the pick day of the week. We're talking mostly sunny skies, warmer temperatures as the 70s return across the map here. Should be a fairly nice afternoon expected across the region. Let's talk about the current weather setup. We've got lots of sunshine here across the Tennessee Valley, but some clouds across the northern edge of the area. But as we expand the view, you can see this is the last. We're on the southern tip of these clouds and they're already beginning to break apart. High pressure building in is trying to usher in more sunshine across the area, but we're also tracking our next storm system, which is now moving in. It's coming up and over this ridge over the western portions of the United States. It's going to pick up a little bit more moisture as it moves our way and bring us our next weather maker. But as we go into the next 24 hours, uh, maybe a few clouds for your Wednesday afternoon, but mostly sunny skies expected. The clouds do increase during the day Thursday with breezy conditions, and we'll start to see some green showing up on the map. Maybe a passing shower late Thursday, about a 20% chance, but the next big thing is rain that is expected across the area. So let's track that for you with the next big thing. Again, as we go into the next day or two, high pressure keeping us fairly quiet, but here comes that cold front as we go into your Thursday and Thursday night after midnight, especially into Friday. That's going to be our next decent chance of rainfall moving in and some of that rainfall could be on the heavy side, so we'll watch that closely. Here's your Storm Alert 7 day forecast. Beautiful weather, Latrice, over the next couple of days, and then we'll focus on that next rain chance by the end of the week. Okay, thank you, Cedric.